Aries. Aries gang, how are you doing tonight? I'm hearing tonight, I celebrate my love for you. Who sings that? Something star. Is it? Why do I want it? Why? I haven't thought about that song in years. Why is that song popping into my head? What's going on, Aries? Who even sings that? Hold on. As soon as I said Aries, that's the song that came up. Roberta, Roberta Flack. Paper Bryson. Is that who? I thought it was... I didn't know it was them. I can't play because of copyright reasons. But anyway. It's organic black tea. Okay. Anyway. Alright, Aries. So... This song might mean something to you. You might want to look into it. Why was I hearing that song? Hmm. Aww. Aries. Oh, it's so sweet. There's going to be contact between two people. Somebody could be, you know. Oh. I mean. Somebody could be making a proposal. They may not be giving a proposal, but they could be making a proposal. Meaning, hey, would you like to go with wait, would you like to go away with me for the weekend? You know, that's making a, I'm going to propose this to you. It doesn't mean I want to marry you. Could it be? Yeah, because that, that did pop up. The word proposal did. However, I don't have certain cards, key cards that would actually suggest that. So somebody could be taking the, you know, the next step. I really feel like somebody could be planning something like a little getaway or an excursion, you know, where it's kind of like romantic, you know. Wow. Aries. I'm going to put these here because I like these. All right, Aries. Romantic love. Tell me more about this story. I like it. Ten of Wands. Yeah, somebody's been working hard. I'm sorry if I'm giving away somebody's secrets. Yeah, that's what it is. Now, I'm a little, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm hoping that this is just, okay, I'm going to dig into this a little bit, but you know, you've got the six of cups here, then you have the ten of wands, and then you have the six of swords. I'm hoping that these are just being symbolic of movement and hard work to, in order to get to this, you know, to prepare, you know, to take somebody away for the weekend or something like that, or the week, you know, I'm hoping that's what, that's what that is. I'm in good faith saying that, but I'm definitely going to check to make sure you know, that there isn't anything else going on. So, bear with me. Um, yeah, somebody's researching. Somebody's researching. So, somebody could be, like, even, like, checking, like, prices, checking flights online. So, somebody is. Somebody is. And that's a star. It came out in reverse. However, oh, and then you got the four cups. You know, it's very, very mixed. It's very, very mixed. I feel like, you know, this is... It feels really, really romantic. So somebody wants to take somebody away. Somebody wants to, you know, take somebody on a like I'm get like on a plane or something like that. They want to take somebody on like a little getaway or like a little trip, you know. And it could even be something, you know, something very, very secluded, you know, because it's kind of like out in the wilderness or like by a lake or a pond or something like that. I am getting that. And you also have the water here. So Venice, Venice. That remind is it Venice? I'm I'm seeing. I can't remember. I think it's Venice. Oh my gosh, I should know better. I really should know this, but I'm when it sometimes when I channel I draw a blank. But that's kind of what that reminds me of. Is it is it Venice? I, it's it, it is. It is. It's Venice, yes. I hope. Yes. Venice. That's what I was seeing. You know, in the water, you know, they're like, yeah. Somebody could be taking somebody there. Oh man, it's very romantic. It's very, very sweet. Wow. Look at that. I split the deck just like this. Somebody, it's the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody really could be, oh my gosh. 
Aries, you better tell me. You better light me up in the comments and tell me if that's what's going on. Mm hmm Eight of Cups. Could be within the next eight months. Justice. Mm hmm Somebody's definitely going to be doing something like that. Now, if it isn't that, so water, water, taxi. Um, that's how it's just being shown to me. That's how it's being presented to me. So could it be, I gotta, I gotta get some air on in here. Get a little, getting a little stuffy. Okay. What is popular in Venice besides, is it ice? Is Italian ice? Funny thing, I'm sitting right, right at Rita's. You know, I'm very organic. I always do everything organic, yada, yada, yada. But lately I've been wanting some Rita's Italian ice. And I made some new friends here, so. <laughs> I come here all the time now, just for the season. I'm getting, it's something, so I feel like, because not everyone is going to be going to Venice, but it could be something, I keep getting like something like custard, gelatos, Italian ice, some sort of a treat, um, something established, something old, old fashioned, something beautiful, columns, columns, Coliseum. I'm seeing all these different things. So something could be very, very themed. You know, themed. Um, yeah. You got this Knight of, Knight of Cups. Maybe somebody works at an Italian ice place. I don't know. So if it's not something as far as a proposal, yep, there's somebody waiting. Somebody is waiting for another person. Somebody's definitely waiting. They're kind of like getting excited, waiting for another person. Okay. So somebody could be wanting to literally, so on a grander scale, somebody could be popping the question, um, you know, or if it ain't that, somebody could be looking to take somebody away because they want to, you know, hang out. They want to kind of like get to know you better, but they want to do something very, very magic. Um, and I was hearing that song, I Celebrate My Love For You. Um, and then, some of you, there is somebody that's going to be taking you away, you know, to someplace nice, romantic, special, whether it be a lake, someplace with water, some, and like a boat rowing or something like that. Could it be Venice or somewhere in Italy? Yes, yeah, somebody could be taking you there to pop the question, you know? So expand your mind, open your mind a little bit, you know, because it could be any of those things. I, was getting, I get cold so quick. Okay. So you have that, um, or somebody could just be like, you know, I'm trying to think, <laughs> um, cause I had a couple other different ideas in my mind, but they, they're, they're gone. They left. It was a couple other things. Oh man. What was it? Yeah, somebody going into a lake or something like that. If it isn't something that big, exorbitant, if it isn't that, then let's say it's on a much smaller scale. Somebody literally could be taking you to go get, a, get an Italian ice. <laughs> it's popping in my... Um, or... Somebody could um, be taking you someplace to do something kind of fun. Something that you enjoy. You know, maybe they like... Maybe you like sweets. It's something like that. There was something specific, though. I'm trying to think of what it was. And it just... It came into my mind and then it kind of like quickly left. It's a shame. 
And that's probably what it is. I think for, for a lot of people, it's probably like the bigger thing is what it is. All right. However, somebody really likes another person. Yeah. There's definitely going to be. Yeah. Yep. The secret's about to come out. Somebody could be popping the question. Seven of Swords. Mom, well, we've got the Ace of Cups in reverse. Oh, the three of three of swords in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. So the secret definitely could be coming out. The Ace of Cups, could it be, you know, the same in the reverse as in the upright? Yeah, it could be. Um, for some, somebody could actually turn the person down. Somebody really could turn the person down. It is possible. Okay. I don't think so, though. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think that's what that is. Because I don't want to tell somebody to not, you know, I don't want, I don't want somebody to be like, dude, don't do this because, you know, because, no. If something's supposed to go a certain way, don't let Tara make that decision if you feel like you need to do something. Because what if this isn't your reading? You can't do that. You can't do that. Look, and look, I was shuffling. You saw me shuffling. And there it's in the upright. So, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So, everything's fine. It's just that something is going to be coming out. Okay, and that's with it. That's why they kind of showed up in the reverse because it was with the other other cards. All right, that's what I got. Somebody's been working hard. Somebody's been working hard on themselves. Somebody's been doing something to kind of like you know, just doing something to kind of like retrain themselves, if that makes any sense. You know, doing things differently, learning skills, um, just constantly learning. I feel like it's and that's kind of what I get with this. You know, with this um, ten of wands here. Somebody's actually been doing a lot of work. They've been trying to kind of walk away from negative energy. And it's because they care a lot more about themselves. They're like, you know what? This life has sucked up until now, but I'm going to make it great. I'm going to change it around. I'm going to change things. And that's what it is. Somebody had like a, a definite change of energy. So, and it, if it is even like a smaller scale, what if you're not, what if you're not in relationship and none of what I said in the beginning, you know, made any sense. This could be maybe what you've been going through. Maybe you're like, you're, you've been changing life. You're doing something very, very different. Um, you've been putting more into yourself and now you're celebrating your love for yourself. Simple as that. You could be taking a trip by yourself. Okay. Finding a new love for yourself. Okay. Going through a definite change, a shift, learning new skills, like I said, um, which is always good. I keep getting something about training yourself. You know, maybe you're learning, you know, certain etiquettes you know like certain things are proper some people some people don't know certain things are proper they're not I mean I've had my moments you know because I I tend to be like very very comedic and there's times when it's just like I'll say like a really funny or a really raunchy joke you know and people are just like hey <laughs> you know sometimes people really just like that little brain cell once in a while you know we feel comfortable and we're just kind of like tell everyone everything but sometimes people need to kind of train themselves to say, hey, you know what, you need to know when to give that kind of joke, you know, or maybe say certain things. And somebody could have been going, undergoing something like that, yep. Yep. Becoming more stable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody's becoming the emperor or the person that they've always meant to be, or they've always wanted to be. And they're actually going to be that one person that somebody's been looking for. Okay. And then that, that's simple. Somebody could just be you. You've always been looking for this love, love, this person, whatever it is. Maybe that person is you, has been you the whole time. Maybe that's, it's been, always been you for you the whole time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I keep getting something about changing life. That can mean a few different things. You know, if it is a female, I don't see it. I don't see like, you know, anything that would suggest that, but I keep saying it. So there could be like a female that maybe could be changing life and there's something different about her. You know, maybe she's turn in a new leaf in life. Maybe she's going to be calming down. Maybe she's going to be more sincere, sweet, gentle. You know? Maybe not as angry. Maybe not harboring as much resentment. Okay? There's a lot of different things. I could kind of keep going going on and on and on about it. But, you know, that's what I got, Aries. It's actually a really, really nice energy. Look, Ten of Cups. You're getting some freaking amazing, phenomenal cards here. Amazing. So, good for you, Aries. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I'm sorry if I gave away anyone's secret.
Don't say anything. Be surprised. All right. <laughs> That's it, Aries. Take care of yourself. And, um... Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Um, if you'd like to book a private reading, you can uh, email becomethestar1111 at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up through Instagram. It's becomethestar, all one word, all lowercase letters. Be careful of misspellings of that name. And because there are people that are pretending to be me in order to scam people and get, get, stuff out of, get money out of people. Okay. And giving me a bad name on top of it. That's it, Aries. Good luck. I'll see you next week. And let me know what's going on if this is your story. Drop me a comment. See ya.